Good morning. I'm Jerry Richmond, Undersecretary for Science and Innovation at DOE. Thank you so much for joining us. I wish I could be there in real time. It's going to be a fascinating discussion, I am sure. Quantum Information Science, or QIS, brings together two of the biggest advances of the 20th century. Quantum mechanics, which studies the universe at its smallest, most fundamental scales, and information science into a cutting edge 20th first century field of research poised to bring about a transformative new era of technology. One that has major implications for how we live and work. And that's where you all come in. We need you to make sure policymakers understand the promise and uses of QIS. Now you'll hear this morning from experts who will share just a taste of the features, applications and challenges surrounding these technologies. We hope you'll continue to stay up to date as this field progresses and it's progressing so fast. And we encourage you to reach out to DOE with questions at any time. So with that, I'd like to set the stage a little bit for today's conversations. Quantum information science works by using exotic features of quantum physics to get around traditional physical limitations on the performance of computers and information processing. QIS will allow us to do things that are impossible or even unthinkable with today's technology. This includes possibilities like quantum computers that will perform computations exponentially faster than our existing supercomputers, allowing us to quickly solve scientific problems so complex they would take regular computers longer than the age of the universe to calculate. Quantum sensors that will revolutionize medical imaging mapping of subterranean spaces, detection of concealed weapons, and even our understanding of the early universe. And quantum communication systems that send messages that cannot possibly be intercepted and decrypted by bad actors, and that in the future might even teleport some small physical systems in the form of information. The possibilities can include quantum simulations that help us model the behavior of quantum mechanical systems, superconducting materials, the misfolded proteins that cause diseases such as Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and Huntington's, and chemical reactions in the environment, and quantum materials with exciting new properties that could allow zero loss transmission of electricity and ultra high capacity energy storage. The possibilities are truly astonishing. Now, recognizing this amazing potential Congress passed the National Quantum Initiative in December of 2018. DOE's Office of Science, or SC, is a key partner in the National Quantum Initiative. SC has multidisciplinary research programs in QIS that cuts across the technical breadth of the office, including all six research program offices, the isotope R&D and production program, and the Office of Workforce Development for teachers and scientists. SC co-chairs the National Science and Technology Council Subcommittee on Quantum Information Science also. And the Office of Science sponsors research programs ranging from single investigators within specific disciplines to five large integrated national QIS research centers established in 2020. Each center is led by one of the DOE national laboratories and includes partners from universities and industry. Each center integrates the science and technology innovation chain to accelerate progress in QIS research and development and to facilitate technology transfer. The centers are also developing workforce training programs into internship opportunities for students who will be our emerging STEM leaders in these fields. Leaders that must reflect the gender and racial diversity that is our country's strength. SC aims to create and guide the ecosystem needed to foster advancement of QIS with major anticipated impacts on national security, economic competitiveness, and America's continued leadership in science. So with that, I'll hand it off to our expert presenters this morning. Thank you for your attention and have a great day.